Okay, everybody, I will uh, call names by twos so the one on deck can be ready when your time is ready. Uh, we'll start with Anthony Dasher, followed by Mark Weiser. Hey, James, good to see you today. I think it's uh, 14 straight times that the team has rushed for the most yards in this game is his one. Is that something you uh, agree with is going to be the key? And I guess second, is that something you guys as running backs have talked about a lot? I mean, yes, that's um, that's been a, um, definitely the, um, the thing over the past years, whoever leads um, in rushing will win the game. But, I mean, we just coming in and looking to dominate and, and do what we do. James, I want to ask you about this, uh, you know, 10-game SEC schedule that you're playing. You know, no, no uh, non-conference opponents from, uh, you know, lower conference or lower, yeah, lower conferences. Do you feel the physical toll of that, you know, playing SEC team week after week, or does your body feel different at all? I Man, you, know, you just got to take care of your body and just be ready whenever they need you and keep your body in good shape. That's like just you know, eating right, sleeping right, and doing the proper things to keep your body in shape. What does sleeping right mean? How many hours a night do you uh, try to get? I try to get at least eight hours of sleep every night. Okay. Thanks. All right, let's go to Seth Emerson, followed by Jake Rowe. James, a uh, uh, running question. It, it seems like you and Zamir and the guys have gotten a lot better at getting yards after contact, yards after hit last few weeks. Is, is there any particular reason for that? I mean, we just um, – they're not mind get dog yards and keep our head for we um, get tackled and and don't let the um, first man tackle us and run through all every arm tackle and just like stand out just don't let the um, first man tackle us. Uh, James, it seems like you've found some success lately in the passing game, basically by being put in these foot races with guys that are mismatch issues with you. Um, as a running back, what's it like after getting all those handoffs and you guys do play polish and all that stuff, what's it like getting downfield, making, you know, catches downfield like an actual wide receiver? And, and uh, is it a different feeling than, than breaking off a big run? I mean, no, it just me creating explosive, just being all my team in the best position that they can do and win a ball game and scope point. All right, let's go to the man with a kitty cat, Chip Towers. And followed by Charles Odom. Yeah, hey, hey, James, this is Winston. If you want to say hello, it's a pretty young cat, and I can't get him to stay anywhere but it, off of me. Um, yeah, I, I was following up on what Jake, uh, Jake said. It, you know, it's pretty clear that you, uh, your role has expanded as a receiver out of the backfield. Is this something that you saw – coming that Todd Munkin kind of discussed with you. And I, I mean, you know, obviously it's, it's worked well and, and led to some explosive plays. I mean, it's just not like the road that I'm playing. It's just like me just being in a position that like one-on-one -on -one matchups and then me just taking advantage of the one-on-one -on -one and winning. Is it, is it a, a skill that you've always possessed, you think, and it's just being tapped into a little bit more now, or is it something that you've, had to concentrate and focus on because of the, you know, the changing of the offense. I mean, no, it's just me being versatile and do whatever, do whatever and do it all. Thank you. Charles? Unmute yourself. Gotcha. Uh, James, tell me about the, obviously everybody knows the, the role this game plays in, in the SEC East. Can you tell me what it's like to be, you know, in your shoes and be somebody that I guess you consider this to be um, Georgia's rightful place to, to, to be in Atlanta at the end of the season? I mean, we just going to go out there side and do what we got to do to get away. Just to follow up okay. on that, what's the, what's the pride factor? for you guys to, to have been these champs oh, It feels good. I mean, I mean, we just got to keep it up and just keep going. Like, I mean, it start game by game and just got to win out. All right, let's go to Jillian McIntyre followed by Brandon Sudge. 
Hey, James. So last year, the Kentucky game was also a slow, heavy ground game, and you were also going into Florida with one loss. So you're really finding yourselves in a similar position this year. So what do you make of the situation being so much like last year, but also what's different to you about this team this time around? Sorry, can you repeat yourself? Yeah. So um, last year, the Kentucky game was a lot similar to the one this year. And then you're also going into Florida with one loss as you did last year. So what do you make about these situations being so similar? I mean, it ain't no similar. It ain't really like no big deal. We just got to keep, we only can control what we can control and do what we got to do to get wins and, and win out and be in Atlanta again. I mean, it start with practice. So we just got to keep going and keep doing what we got to do to get a win and win out and we'll be good. Hey, uh, James, in terms of your own role and how you kind of um, have more opportunity in the offense each year, um, are you kind of um, happy right now or comfortable with the amount of opportunities that you've had each week? Do you ever try to push to have more touches in the passing game or carries or anything? I mean, I can control what I can control and um, play my role, do what I got to do to help the team win. And as catching the ball, I'm going to catch the ball to the best of my ability. As I run the ball, I'm going to run the ball to my best ability to get a win and make explosive plays for my team to win. All right, we got time for about two more questions. We'll go to Mike Griffith, followed by Palmer Tomes. Hey, James, um, I guess as you look around the locker room, there's no Swift, there's no Cager. A lot of the guys that were the, the big heroes, the big stars last year, they're gone. Um, can you just talk about uh, assuming those roles and how different your role will be this year than in last year's game? I think you might have had one carry. I mean, having them guys in, like, in the game and just like them guys are older. I mean, I'm an older guy now, so I have to step up and play that role. And, and do my job to the best of my ability and, like, be a leader for my team and be a where my team need me, like, pick the guys up. Like, we just got to make every opportunity count and maximize every opportunity. How motivated – you got to follow up. How motivated were you by your big brother's performance that was some NFL history that played out Sunday? I mean, it was good. We had a good performance. Yeah, James, you mentioned your versatility and your confidence when you get in those one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. What exactly is it about your skill set that makes you so confident, um, you know, out there when you get in those matchups? I mean, it's just all about winning. So if I could beat the man in the next from across from me, I would have all the confidence in the world. And I know I'm athletic and versatility. I got versatility. And I know I could beat him, so just do it.